What up? This is Big John Skater again. Just finished cutting off the black off of the monster logo, so you just throw that aside. Next, after you cut it out, you always want to, before you do it, just move these parts up. Make sure you cut all the way through onto the tape, which, if you could see, I did. Next, you just flip it over. Start peeling the tape that's holding your monster paper on it. Rip it off. You could save this if you want to to trace over it again to do it multiple ones. But there's another trick I'm going to show you here in a second. So you got all that done. Nice monster, as you can see. You should just be able to get your tape. Cut that around there if you don't want to deal with it. Pick it up. Pull it very, very slow. Then you'll start to get the hang of it. Get that one out of there. And if you push hard enough, since this is a CD case and it's plastic, your blade would have cut through the whole CD case and made an emblem of where the plastic would crack. So that would be the other trick if you don't want to spend all your time just retracing that. You could just put tape on, roll your fingers around just a little bit on it, and it should just appear like a monster logo. But I'm still taking this off, so I'll show you that in a second. All it is is just patience and time. But I'm not a guy with patience, so I do everything fast. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just go to practice. Masking. Right there you can see it's starting to form. Tweezers you might also need. If you can see it a little bit, you can see the other monster logo on the other side. That I did from my previous one. So. There's your monster logo right there. If you can see it. Perfect monster logo. Then, your back of it if you can. Should work for it. Rage blade knife. Just like that. Don't try to shrink it. Cut it in little pieces right here, so you know which one goes which which. This one's two pieces, but if you don't want to deal with that, just rip off a little piece of tape. Just bond them together real quick. Be always kept together. Let's get it like that. Roll it off. Fix that up later. Make it look better. But basically right there. It's the perfect one, but this is about my fourth attempt. I had three other ones before my first one. This is my fourth one now.
I prefer the prefer the wider tape than the real skinny tape. You just put these on this one and save those right there. But if you can see on this side, I put Sharpie on it and then just wiped it around so the Sharpie went in the cracks and you can see it. And this side it's a lot harder to see because the one's already there. But it's already on there. You could hear it. So you would just get your tape. Get it like that. Just push it on. Turn it out like that. You can see a very little small outline on it. And you would just get your knife and cut around. So I just got my stencil, stencil cut it out. I'm using my old army one I did a couple days ago got it from the Toys R Us one I was talking about but pretty nice I'm going to take the memory card slots out right now paint them separately then I'm going to paint the red color primer I got then we're going to probably put some different bright colors like red green yellow blue all like a rainbow effect up it, and then get a couple of these and put them on there and then paint it flat black the colors on either will be gloss at first, but then I'm going to spray it with clear testers, model master, lacquer, overcoat, lusterless, flat. So, this is chrome right here, and this will be black, of course, so I'm going to go paint this now. You'll see the next part later.